Boy, it's time to go to work, though, man. And you know how we do. Play me some pimping, man. Some pimping? Yeah, you gotta play some real pimpish before we get this thing started. Yeah. You must have knew life was coming. <laughs> Don't that just sound just real, like, real Mackish right there? I like this. Who, 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 who did you produce this, right? Nah. Oh, he did? Yeah, man, yeah, that's the, he's head of my orchestra. <laughs> yeah. You got one nigga in your orchestra. <laughs> nah, he's just the head of the orchestra. Oh. We don't bring all the pieces out till we oh. really need them. Oh, The J. Tobin. Nah, and that's J-O-N. Yeah, we got an orchestra, man. A 19-piece junkyard garage band. All black musicians. This is some old school, like, velvet. Just velvet, that's it. This motherfucker just- What is like, this, velvet? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I had some pimping for you right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack, how you feel about it? Man, this, this sexy. I'm fucking with it. Yeah. For all the ladies who look good with the Walmart panties on. <laughs> I applaud you. Yeah. <laughs> Make it clap with the Walmart panties on. Yeah. Or don't. Or don't. Or don't. To everybody who like to do it with their socks on. <laughs> it's your song right here. Yeah, this shit taking me right here though. Like I like this like for real, for real. Man, you can fuck with this. No, it's like a nigga, it's a, it's a skinny nigga with a shower cap on or some shit. You know? Okay. That's how it feel. Yeah. And it feel like, like I can write some real love shit, you know, not like this regular love shit to be lying. I'm oh, you want some love shit? Play me some, play me some love shit, bro. This life Jennings, bro. We'll put, we'll bring this one back. You think that he just got one? Man, my partner been working on this shit since. <laughs> What's today? We're going to Love Foul. Going to Love Foul, bro. He got one. Watch this. <laughs> this was almost in the country music foul. We almost put that in there. Remember I told you we was going to sample that old my darling and loop it? <laughs> what the fuck? What? You don't remember that shit? I remember the song. Oh, that I shit would go hard as a sample. With loop it, speed it up, pitch it up a little bit. <laughs> shit, anything will work, man. That shit going to go. Yeah. Oh, you deep in the love foul. That's not even on a music platform. Mm. Imagine that. It's amazing. <laughs> we already been the number one black TV show that's not on TV for like the last four or five years. That's just how we live. Like the one of them types. You feel that? Mm. That's a banjo. Yeah. Alright man, 
it's time to go to work. Y'all play too much, man. Welcome back to the 85 Shop Show. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You already know how we getting down today. J-O-N is going to be playing us some wonderful sounds from the bando. I got my man, none other than Jack Thriller, holding it down like he always do. Now we got a very special guest in the trap with us today, Jack. One of the coldest musicians to ever come up out the hood. Got some of the most relatable music, some timeless classic joints. Long list of accolades. A real nigga, if you ever was to look one up. My player partner. And I was just sitting here telling them that niggas be listening to this shit when they be going through the shit. He one of the niggas on the playlist with get your shit back together. Right before we get back to the fuck these old music, we on the sad, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's about four, five niggas we're gonna listen to during that, them dark days. And he one of them. Been holding it down since he came out, man. Yeah. None other than the legendary Life Jenny. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know we named our tour Ghetto Legends. So that's all we've been bringing through here, man, is real life Ghetto Legends. Just to tell them that they playing a part in the part that we playing. The sounds and the music that got us through the times where we didn't know that, that we was going through them times. That shit that's gonna live with you forever. Life lessons. That's why his name Life Jennings. Crazy. Full circle. Speaking of which. Woo. Smoke some more for, for the niggas that can't, man. <laughs> I don't smoke for me on this show. <laughs> this ain't about you. It ain't about me. It's bigger than you. You don't smoke? No, man. I'm, like, welcome to the trap, man. Oh, man, got He's <laughs> Yeah, man, he can't smoke. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, man, he can't right. smoke, bro. You, you smoke a lot? Nah, nah. Nah, he don't smoke, man. You know people automatically assume you, you smoke because you got a raspy voice? I used to smoke. That's where I got the rest. That's why I got them stopped. For I didn't have no voice, period. Wow. Yeah. There ain't no singer. I don't need no voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that really is the thing. You can smoke your throat out of it. Yeah, you smoke well, and then well, go sing. I mean, you probably can't, but in prison, like, they give you this shit. Uh, they don't give you, like, real cigarettes. It's just like that. Tobacco. Loose tobacco, yeah. no filter, no nothing. They just raw. Right. They give you some papers and they be like, here you go. So mm. I'll, you know, fuck my shit up off of that a little bit, you know? Damn. Mm -hmm. Now how was you how long you were smoking those in there? Shit the whole time. Shit, fuck you. Yeah, man. shit. That is silly ass question, Jack. I think that man, time. We want to break down the years, man. Man, fuck you man. That time I You did think a nigga wanna remember that? Eleven years, man. I I, I stopped periodically. He's saying about the shit. Oh. Yeah, but you're bringing it up again. They don't know. They we need to get them caught up. Oh, catch them up. This, this, check this out. This is going. This leading somewhere. Watch it. Watch how we bring it back towards the middle. I'm gonna let I you got do some for you. I forgot you, that nigga. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. So, 11 years smoking the um, open tobacco. Right. Like when you say open tobacco with no filters on there and whatnot, is are they you they actually constructing the cigarettes themselves? You gotta roll it yourself. Nah, they just throw you a pack of bugler. Like when you first come in the joint, they give you a pack of at least where I'm from, they give you a pack of bugler for free. Mm -hmm. I think they just really do that shit to get niggas addicted to it or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? But then uh, you know, then you start buying the joint. But it's loose tobacco basically. Mm, mm, mm. Now, now, where does the music even start at, man? Like, is that before prison or after prison or during prison? Yeah, when you prison? started singing and shit? Oh, um, shit, I was like a child, man. Like, really? I had a singing family, like my uncle Keith Dotson and them cats, man. You know, they was running around. <clears throat> Keith, actually, a, a, a legend in Ohio, man. And, um, you know, we just kind of took it to Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Camping. Shout out uh, to Toledo, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking Toledo. about even before I was on TV, bro, I was selling out shows in like fucking Toledo and Dayton and they show much love over there, man. I'm yeah, they them. ain't got shit down there. So, you know, they they can relate to everything, you know? They got a funny bone. 
You say what happened? The Funny Bone Comedy Club. Well, I mean, like, nigga, you know, I mean, you'd have been through that. Like, nigga, knuckles in the dirt down there. Yeah. 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 We fucks with it, though. So ever since you was a little boy singing, and, and Keith taught you how to sing? Nah. He just yeah. had the influence. Yeah, I used to watch them cats. I mean, he wasn't the only one I used to watch, you dig? Mm. Like, I had cousins that sang. My mama and them even used to sing a little bit. Mm. Yeah. In gospel in the gospel choir and something? No, nah, like my mom's like she just had a, a, a lot of nigga troubles. Like so you know, you be hearing that Ashford and Simpson and that <laughs> that then way. Get yourself going. together music. <laughs> okay. Right, right. Got you. Yeah, so they you know, I heard them joints, man, and Anita Baker and Ashford and Simpson. Mm. You know, cats like that. Mm. So it's more so self taught and everything. You found out you had a little talent and uh, start developing it yourself. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I guess you can say that. I can't take credit for nothing, though. Like, it was already there. What it's going to be, it already is. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when it become a serious thing to where you like, hey, you know what? I think this is what I want to do with my life. That happened in prison, you know, because, you know, of course, I started off just like writing just the past time because I had a lot of time. I did 11 years that time, mm. you know? So I just really was doing it the past time. But then, you know, like I was telling you earlier, like niggas start coming around telling me, you know, they little situations and they would give me packs of cigarettes to write songs about their situation and pass it on to they, you know, they old ladies or whatever. Them probably was hits like a motherfucker now that <laughs> somebody sitting at home with your hits in a shoebox. <laughs> mm. They got a lot of records that I just, you know, I record on tape, send them out, you dig? Yeah. And then when I just saw, like, I go out on the yard, and, you know, niggas only get an hour on the yard, but it be like, hey, nigga, be out there around me. Like, hey, do this joint, do this record. I'm like, I might Use be able radio. to make some money off this shit. Like, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that's just kind of how it popped off, man. Word, word. Hey, I ain't never heard you talk about this before, Life, and I, I done seen a couple of interviews, but I, and I know I probably didn't, I ain't seen everything, so I probably missed it. It but ain't, is it okay? Business. Shit, like, uh -huh. you know, it ain't really niggas' business like that. Like, you got know? you, got you. Yeah. I can dig it. Because you tell a nigga something like that, and the nigga don't never want to get off of it. Like, I, you know, you know, interviews will start off. So you did this amount of time in prison. Goddamn, my shit ain't started. So on prison. your seventh year, <laughs> <laughs> where were you mentally? How were you? Did you wear your muscular yeah. when you came up? <laughs> who fuck what? That's what I said. Who want to remember that type of shit? That's why I really don't do, like, interviews and shit like that. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I get irritated. Like, you dig know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I can dig it. I just thought, you know, doing off the first album when you talk about that, that's how long you had did and you come out and you do the Apollo. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, damn, damn. So this thing did. Like, Let me ask you this, years, though. Get like, out and blow Coming up. back, though, right. seeing how everything had done changed since you left, man, how was you, how was you, like, taking that shit? Fascinated by it or, like, <clears> pissed I mean, off? What is it was a couple fascinations that I had, but really just, like, like, what? like Honestly, when I first came home, I came to Atlanta, right? Because I did like a little demo. And so I was coming through the mall and, and I was kind of off my game a little bit. I still had my slope, flat top when I came home. <laughs> so, you know, I pulled up on a little chick like, damn, like, your hair is pretty. You dig know what I'm saying? And I was already like, goddamn, everybody got long hair. Everybody must got some like treatments and shit that everybody <laughs> hair was going long. And then she called it attitude, and I guess she thought I was making fun of her because she had a weave, but I ain't no shit about no weaves, though. So you came home and just thought everybody had long, pretty ass ass. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Cause, you, cause you, know, you know, we had that brother brother shit going on. He now. said he thought everybody got some treatments and just had. <laughs> I fucking didn't know, you know? But yeah, you know, that was probably the amazement part. And um, shit, other than the cars being real aerodynamic by the time you get home, yeah. nigga won't Whole take Whole body's down and change. I wouldn't even cross the street, bro. Car be way down the street, so like he going fast as hell. <laughs> I ain't even gonna cross the street, bro. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know. How the demo shit turn out? It was love, man. Like, you know, um, I actually, Came home, went straight to the studio, all the shit that was on my mind, I kind of got it off my chest. Went and did the Apollo yeah. as soon as I came home, and yeah. So you won like five times, right? 
Yeah, one five times on Apollo. In a row. You give it up for that. You already know what it is, man. They don't know yet. You ain't Shreveport, tell them. Louisiana. Oh, it's going crazy. Thursday, December 8th, 2022, at the Shreveport Municipal Memorial Auditorium. That's you know a what lot it of is. names. It's the return of the ghetto legends. Unfinished business, baby. That's yeah. right. We got unfinished business in Shreveport, Louisiana. So get yes, your indeed. ticket, Shreveport. We coming through December 8th. Shreveport Municipal Memorial Auditorium. That's probably where all y'all graduated from high school at. But we coming and we gonna turn that bitch into a party. So make sure you get your tickets. December 8th, Shreveport, Louisiana. Let's get wretched. Return Let's of the ghetto wretched. legends. You get the tickets at the85southshow.com. That's where you get the tickets at. Right. So make sure you go get them right now if you're in Shreveport or surrounding areas. Yeah. I don't know what if areas are surrounding. If you live in Louisiana. If you live in Louisiana, you need to come see If you live in Arkansas. Well, if you live in Dallas. Okay. If you live in California. Shit, if you don't even live, if you just around that motherfucker, come see the show because we're going to be there Man. December 8th. Shreveport, Louisiana, Shreveport Municipal Memorial Auditorium. You ain't got shit to do. Your car nice. You, especially if you got a Tesla. Stretch the Tesla out. Shit. We'll December see you there. Shreveport, Louisiana. 85southshow.com. Get the tickets. I'm out of here. Get man. it. Plan even going in and how you even captivate a crowd like that because it, it ain't no you know, that's a tough ass crowd. That's a tough ass mm-hmm. fucking crowd, especially the time you went there. That ain't tougher than prison. <laughs> you right now that you fucking right. So they you was, was getting booed in the church. <laughs> prison be singing a goddamn so a, a song about Jesus Christ. <laughs> they, they was doing like you. just like regular hymns and shit. Man, they would boo you off a of regular hymn. Jesus loved me. You ain't even supposed to sing that song good. Damn. I but, thought everybody who sung in church was just welcome. Nah, hell no. Nah. I got kicked out of church before. So that's where that the, the song um number 10 off the first album come from. No, 26 years, 17 days? No, nah, that song come because this lady in church told me that I was using my voice for worldly shit. Like, basically, like, I was evil because I was singing about worldly stuff. Mm. So that's where that joint came from. But you I made her the captain of voices. Bro, I don't know, man. You know, in the joint, man, you know, them them little people with them badges on, man, everybody's somebody, you know? Oh. You know? Cats that wasn't never nothing on the street, you put a badge on them, they the shit. You know? Them the ones. Yeah. But I got kicked out of church here in Atlanta before. In Atlanta? Yeah, bro, right before I went to prison the second time. This shit, like, this shit, I can't make this shit up, bro. I'm about to do some shit, <laughs> right? But I say, let me take my ass to church. I took my two little boys, too. And we go, because I was just driving, thinking, and on the radio, they was like, this church, blah, blah, blah. God says, come as you are. I'm like, shit, that's all I needed to hear. Mm. I came as I am. Like, mm. you did? Get, get to the church, get in there, sit in the little pews and shit. And all of a sudden, I guess the church security, church bouncer or whatever, you know, the nigga, he come up, he like, yo. Um, the church had a bouncer? Oh, yeah, they got a bouncer. Oh, a deacon. He was a deacon? He was at New Birth. I don't even remember the name. Mm. But uh, dude came and he was like, you can't wear no hat in church. And I like, well, the commercial on the radio said to come as you was, you know what I'm saying? And I had a hat on when he said it. <laughs> so he was like, he was like, nah, he's like, you gotta leave. 
And I was like, I got it. I say, <laughs> I say, bro, you really going to kick me out of church? I said, I got my two kids with me, too. Like, you going to kick me out of church? And then they left. He come back with two more security bouncers. And they escorted me out to church. Yeah. And, you know, weird, right? Judge I went to prison the things. next week. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Shit was weird, man. They should have let you stay. You probably could have ducked that. You ain't never like, you no, know, you ain't never like think about that situation and say, you know what? I should have took my head off. That's why I'm in prison. Nope. <laughs> that ain't had shit to do with it. And I know. Yeah. But sometimes you when you be sitting down, you looking for something to blame is on. Now what the fuck did I do? What? Hmm. Yeah, I don't play games like that. And by then, that was the second time I went to prison. Or the third time. Damn. I forget. One of them motherfucking times. But I had already been before, so I don't I don't do that, B. I jump right back into character. You did? Mm. So I don't do that blame. I should have did this. And Fuck it. Mm. Yeah, it is what it is. right. It, it ain't going to help, you know? Here now. Mm -hmm. Every time you got out, too, you always got right back on it like you ain't never left. Yeah, you don't got a choice with that either. You know what I'm saying? I got kids out here to feed, bro. Dig, dig. I'm going to get it. Like, I'm a, it, <laughs> I ain't gonna say that, you know. How, how does the deal happen after Apollo? Like, who, who contacted you? Um, so I sang on Apollo or whatever, and then um, the one, actually the dude that, uh, that did the Apollo, he had been getting contacted by labels and all this shit, but he was trying to get me to sign with him. Damn. So he would never forward the information. So then so much time had elapsed, he wind up, you know, he threw the alley to one of my niggas, became my nigga at the time, and just told him that if he gets some bread, to break bread with him or whatever. So my dude come on board, and he introduced me to um, Dave McPherson at Sony Records. Okay. Right? And then Dave wanted to sign me. Then the other nigga that I had met before that, he called Sony Records and told Sony Records that I was already in a contract with him. And shit was never in the car. He's just trying to blow the deal so I was signed. It'd be a lot of shit going on, bro. Oh, I've oh, seen yeah. it. You know? I've seen it. Yeah, but needless to say, you know, I went on and uh, worked it out, signed with Sony. And you you wrote the whole album? Yeah, yeah. Bro, hey, that's some real shit right there. Bro. Hey man, the first time I knew that you was you was writing all your shit, that is, well, I had accepted it. But it, it, it's definitely a pattern in your music, to where you know that's life. <laughs> Violence. <laughs> and it's you. It's you. You 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 can hear you. It's cons it's consistent. The way I know you ain't working with. Well, it don't seem like you working with different niggas to you know construct certain songs. Nah. Even though I know you know ideas and inspirations come here and there. But when you had came on Wild and Out, dog, and we oh, be doing yeah. R and B fans and R and beef, and the, the verse that you wrote. Like right then and there was just so fucking out of this world and you know over the top. Yeah, they cut part of that too. Yeah, like they, they cut edited. a lot of that shit. They can show yeah. it like twenty minutes long. But that was one of the best experiences that I really had on uh, Wild and Out. You know, so many black people that was cool with each other. Cause, like, you know, where I come from, that shit be violent, bro. Like, niggas ain't cracking on each other or having fun with each other like that. Yeah. So when I saw that shit, you know, I just was like, damn, boy, like, this shit would be cool, you know? They could relax for a moment, you yeah. know? Yeah. That's why it'd be fun to do that shit. Cause, like you said, there's so many different people who was all that person where they from. Man, you'll be you'll be believing that the world is a whole different place if you don't experience different parts of it. Right. But the crazy thing about traveling the world is you just really want to go to the parts that you like. So wherever you end up, you're just going to find, like you said, if you're a hood motherfucker, you want to go where the hood is. Or if you're a sightseeing motherfucker, you want to see some sights. It's like everybody just different. Some motherfuckers don't want to do nothing but find the good ass food. And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Eat everything they can eat before they leave. Some people want to shop, but pretty much the same shit everywhere. Yeah. It's just good to see it, though, because it's good. It's just dope to see how people do shit everywhere else. But, but you know what? Also, you know, 
for, for lack of a better word, you'll be fearing a lot of shit just because you've never been exposed to it, whether it's yeah. people, circumstances. Because you don't know how they do it. Right, right. So you need to expose yourself to it, if only so that you can express to your kids that this ain't what you think it is. Yeah. Just to yeah. open your mind to some different possibilities of what could, like you, you know, like I say, you just need to see shit done that's out of the ordinary too. Right, because every white person ain't racist, every black person ain't hood. And every white person you ain't know? even white. You, you don't never know until you <laughs> right. fucking talk to them. Right. Oh. Yeah, man. So, you know. That damn show ain't. And you got to give life the benefit of the doubt, man. Bottom line. Mm -hmm. You just might like some shit you ain't never did or even thought about doing. You don't even know what the fuck you like yet. You ain't had it. 100%. You got to go over there and do some shit, man. Especially you, Jack. You still got a lot of living to do. 100%. I, I feel the exact same way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's so travel. much I want to do. We're taking our show on the road, man. We're going international with it next year. Fuck it. Next time it get hot, we'll probably be in Brazil or somewhere, man. South Africa just posted up. I would love to shoot a whole podcast, you know, with some beautiful ass scenery in the background, bro. I don't want to sound ignorant, but it would be dope as hell if I was on like some kind of balcony and it was like an over the shoulder, like you could see some elephants and shit in the distance. <laughs> he didn't play Man, that shit would be hard. He dead ass serious. He didn't hell yeah, thing. bro. Yeah. Right. Wait till right. I get this fucking deal. I got some. We're going to this big ass ranch in Texas. They're gonna be cooking barbecue and shit behind us. By the time we get through, the shit gonna be ready and then just be doing it big, bro. Good news, sound like peace. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you know, I'm glad you dream, you dreaming way bigger than I'm dreaming for myself. That's what I'm, I'm here for, I'm Jack. I'm part of it, Jack, I'm the vision. I got it, I got it, and I need vision. That's what I'm saying, I got, I got this, Jack. Yeah. If you aim so low, you gonna end up hitting the ground. That's Confucius, or that's... <laughs> nah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking aim low, Jack. We aim high. If you ask for some bullshit, you're gonna get worse than that. We ask for the most outlandish shit. So even if they can't give it to us, they gotta compensate us with some shit better than we even wanted. Mm. <clears throat> what you think about the Elon Musk and them? I don't think about that okay, type of cool. shit. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying, Jack. Don't get distracted by shit you ain't got nothing to do with. I'm talking about going to the moon. That's they shit. They been going. I, I, I got to intervene right there, goddammit. But listen, gotta, whether they gotta, going or not, ain't no niggas, man. But listen, you don't know. If Don't let them white folks get to the moon before black folks do because they gonna have black folks as slaves up there and you ain't gonna know nothing about it. As long as it's up there and I ain't up there, I ain't fucking. <laughs> they fucking got fuck us locked, they got us fucked up on Earth. <laughs> Niggas don't stand a chance on the moon, especially if you in the first hundred. Hell yeah, they feel the balls of the shit out of here. They, they hey, got, hey they, buddy, they, you think you can help us out on the spaceship? <laughs> we really appreciate it. Hey. This time I'm not asking. Get your ass up and help us. <laughs> Every day on that motherfucker gonna get worse and worse. <laughs> get up, dark. <laughs> Got you niggas lying, playing cotton on the moon. And the aliens ain't saying shit. They acting like they don't see it. They just... <laughs> Minding they Listen, business. I do not think that you lie. I really, I, I really feel like, man, especially when they took NASA off of it and they privatized uh, space travel, just period. Man. And they just talking about meteorites and there's so much that money in That mean that shit ain't as far away as they say it is. They just going up there and coming back for the weekend and shit. Bro, you know it's already uh, some shit on its way to Mars, a non-return trip with Mars already. Right? That's because that shit ain't as far as they say it is. That's what they're chilling at. What you mean non-return? That it's a one-way trip. People already signed up for a one-way trip to Mars, not coming back. <clears throat> Listen, you can live on Mars. Not well. You can't. They don't want no. <laughs> they don't want black people on that shit yet. It's motherfuckers living on every planet, but they don't want you to know that type of shit. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a lot going on. They catch. How is it a planet that don't that shit live on? It up. It shouldn't. Your common sense should be common. That means shit you should know. Why the fuck would they tell you about some other planets? Why would it be a planet if don't nothing live on it? What you think on that? Just dirt. 
That's a, and you making a good point right now. It's a planet, nigga. They only show you the shit. That's just like if them motherfuckers show Earth and they just showed the part with the water. They probably got them people out there thinking don't nobody live on this motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. They just shoot up. They go Earth. It ain't number water. Don't go on that motherfucker. You do, you do realize that whatever that they show us as far as the planets is concerned, it's always edited. Like, you don't get it. Like, you ain't gonna never get a satellite footage straight from the satellite in real time. Yeah, you're not they for free. They gonna get it, and they gonna, they gonna edit it instead of two. They might be doing us a favor, though. You might not want to know what the fuck is outside of this shit. Hmm. It's some, we probably fucking, they, the real truth is we probably just some smart ass ants <laughs> Y'all compared to everybody else. <laughs> That's why they don't talk to us. We too stupid to understand what the fuck. They super intelligent. Y'all we fucking dumb as my fuck. head up, man. Why the fuck would they want to talk to us? We can't even talk to each other. They like, them motherfuckers too dumb. We can't go down there and show them how to get up here. They bring that racism shit over here. Cough on us, bring some of that unseasoned ass chicken. It's over with. We can't. <laughs> no, no. Close the border. Hey, you already know what it is, man. What's that time? Man. I'm going back home, y'all. Hey, man. Two ATL. Times. Wife. 28, 29. Where we at? What? ATL. The Gateway Center Arena what? at College Park. Call it Park. Call it Park. Call it Park. Call it Park, Atlanta. You know, they was. Call it Park. Call it Park. Call it Park. Call it Park. We're going to get on Legends. We're trying to get on Legends. We're going to discuss all that. We're going to discuss okay. what's real Atlanta and Come what's, on, you know, Atlanta, and, you know, all that. I can't wait to tell yeah, a nigga you where you from. You yeah, yeah, you know, we're trying to get on Legends, the unfinished business tour. We're back in the A. Man. Come on, man. 85southshow.com. That's www.85southshow.com. Right man. Atlanta. We are coming oh, crazy. December 28th and 29th. It's after Christmas, so you can wear all your new shit, your gifts. Going out with a bang, bro. Going out with a bang. We're bringing the new year in. Oh, crazy. In where it all began. You know what I mean? From mm. Smith's Old Bar to the Gateway Center Arena yeah, in College Park. So Wednesday make sure you get your tickets. And Thursday. Wednesday oh, and Thursday. Not planned. Hey, you, Whole city. You're going to be all Look. work them days anyway, because oh. it's almost New Year, so you know how you say something. Spend your Christmas check. You know? Come on, see what Spend that Christmas money, nigga. You already know. Get it out the envelope. <laughs> Out the car. Buy a ticket. Buy a ticket. No cap. That's no what it is. Get the app too. And two days. We doing two days. So if you miss the first day, you, you ain't gonna miss the second one. Right. Oh, you, you gonna hear about it. <laughs> Ghetto legendary. Kylie Paul. And Bubba Paul. ATL. Booty 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 rock. ATL. I found you. <laughs> Hello everybody. My name is Carlos Miller and I just came to spread a little black love because I hope you having a Good day, because this is a good day scent that's black love. Since I love you so much, I want to give you my discount code, my personal discount code, and go and get 25% off. L-O-U-S. Kind of look like love if you write it fast. But if you use my code, you'll get an additional 25% off if you go to the Good Day Scents website and buy you some of these dope-ass candles. Man, that shit really do smell like black love, though. Like, after black people been holding hands with some cocoa butter on. That's love. Use my personal discount code so you can get you some of these nice-ass candles. And have a good day with a good day scent. 25% off. L-O-U-S. Black love. One of my favorites, because I love you. And you're black. Even if you're not black, the code still works. That's the beautiful part about it. It's crazy. I'll see you next time. Ironically, you're not lying. That's probably exactly what we it is. We probably so nasty. nasty and full of germs and worms. They don't want nothing to do with our little nasty ass. I told my old lady this. If, if, if it was aliens, if aliens, all they would have to go off of us is by the shit that's on TV. Imagine what they would think of us, bro. Check this out, right? This how this how stupid they think well, people are. You got are. serious as fuck. You, you saw that? <laughs> you mean to tell you me saw <laughs> that aliens didn't travel through all these galaxies? All these planets and time spaces and black holes. Get black the holes or black holes and get the <laughs> earth and crash in the fucking desert <laughs> while ain't shit out there. Right, right. And, and run into absolutely nothing and just crash. They didn't travel over all these goddamn galaxies and just wreck on Earth. Yeah. That just don't even make sense. So you saying what, that? That it's full of shit. That the whole concept of aliens is full of shit no, or that they man. crash is I'm full of shit? I'm telling you, they out there. They just smarter than us. That's why they don't want to talk to us. 
Mm. The same reason we ain't figured out how to talk to the animals here. That's probably how they look at us. Like, we're just too stupid to communicate with them. <laughs> they know it. They know we ain't gonna be able to understand this shit. Mm. Monkeypox probably came from aliens, huh? But this is how dumb we are. We are looking for some motherfuckers who are smarter than us. Don't you think they already found us? <laughs> they found us before we even knew to look for them. Super intelligent beings. They know exactly what this shit is. That's what we call them, too. We assume that they super intelligent. What if they dumb as fuck? And they spaceships always look dope as fuck. That's, that, that might be our shit. You own to something, bro. Why? I ain't never even thought of this. Why would they bring their nice shit to our shitty but place, you don't bro? Smoke. I don't, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's what the fuck you going on. You got them hit of that thing, you got them. No, <laughs> he can't smoke, man. Nah, yeah. Because he got to focus on what the fuck he doing. He already run into shit. Without smoking. Right. Definitely can't have this nigga DUI. I be W or U I. Damn, I just thought about it. D U I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. <laughs> That's how we do over here, like Jennings. <laughs> Bro, give us the keys to writing a good ass love song. Did What's the it? elements? many love songs like most of my shit be situational but not situation it be a little love sprinkled in there right it right but it don't it don't never be like i love you kind of shit like then that's it it be i love you but but yeah right okay through your flaws and shit right so what's the elements to writing just a good song then from your um, perspective i personally think you got to go through some good shit you know what I'm saying? I think that's the first thing. You didn't like some shit or you were super happy with it or it was party, but it was a, a an experience that you always gonna remember. Yeah. So then, you know, you translate it. Sometimes it, it don't even come right away. Sometimes it'd be a couple years later once you understand it. So I think that's the next first is going through it and then it's understanding what you went through. And then I just think um, having a good vocabulary, you dig? And then you write it all down on paper with the melody and everything, and then you gotta you gotta make sure that at the end of it you convey that whole message in that little small amount of time. Yeah. You know? You heard that, Jack? I just heard it, man. Mm -hmm. And he eight albums in too. Eight albums in. I, I, you know, I, I definitely feel this way, but do you feel this way? That you underrated as a writer, as a, a vocalist? as a musician? No, I, I don't think that's even my, my place to say if I'm underrated or not, because some people I'm going to be underrated, to other people I'm going to be overrated, you know? And I feel like I don't give no nigga that kind of power over me and that he can do nothing to me, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? The only reason why I ain't exactly where I'm supposed to be or want to be is just because I haven't manifested it yet, you know? You still trying to figure out exactly what you want to be. Is that what you're trying to tell me? No, not, not I'm, I don't think that I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is that I want to be. I, I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is that I don't want to be. Because mm. you make a motherfucking mistake thinking that you want some shit, and then you'll get that shit, and that shit'll be the worst. Like a, a, a addict could think he really wants some money, then he get that money, and that'd be the very thing that led to him Push over, him over the head, yeah. Right. So, yeah. <clears throat> You got to be careful what you ask for. Very selective in your word choice, Jack. 100%, I like that. Uh, who are some of the people that inspire you as far as writers go? Like, who, who you think is dope? Writers? Yeah, write, writer, 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 singer, arrangers, like, for instance, Babyface. Yeah, dope. You wrote a whole, um, what they call them things before movies? The, what they Store? put them? Not the score, but the, the tape the that came out. The soundtrack, yeah. That boy wore the whole soundtrack. For uh, Way to Excel. Was it Way to Excel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he dope. Um, I think Lionel Richie is a dope writer, man. Yeah, he is. You know, because for me, one of the hardest things to do is to convey a message super, super simple. Mm. That's one of the hardest things to do, man. 
You know, but he do it well, you know. Lionel Richie. Yeah, Lionel, Lionel Richie. Hidden gem. Yeah. Hello. And he the only nigga that maintained a fro that long. I don't think nobody With the shag else. in the back. It had, a, it had like a fro top and a shag back. Who else? Who else? When that you got money like Lionel Richie, though, you can do what the fuck you want to do. Do it again. When you got that Lionel Richie paper, Man, your shit supposed to look like a scientist. And Lionel, this is Lionel, <laughs> Lionel, I, I, for lack of a better word, hope he don't get upset, but this is how I describe him. Lionel, a real nigga, too, man. Yeah, of course. His name is Lionel. I did. That, that nigga named <laughs> Lionel. I ain't even ever noticed that. That nigga named Lionel. <laughs> that nigga named Lionel, bro. <laughs> that nigga got a nigga name. I'm telling you, bro, hey, <laughs> niggas <laughs> named Lionel, they about their life. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 Ain't nigga play football? I, nigga did, saying, I did this know? thing with him. Uh, I forget what it was. We did. We did this song easy though, right? And Lionel was like, oh, you know, I listen to your stuff, I like your stuff. He's like, you know, maybe you should do this or you know, you should do that or whatever, whatever. But he's like, here go my number. Like, call me if ever you need me, you wanna run something by me, whatever. And you get that shit a lot. Like I got that shit from a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to just test him. And like a couple weeks later, I just called and he answered the phone. I'm like, damn. Hello, this like, is Lionel. <laughs> he don't answer the phone like that. How you answer the phone, bro? Hello, <laughs> it's me you're looking for. No, but bro really answered the phone. And I was like, damn, you know, chopped it in the air, you know? You know, he even sound like a look. <laughs> oh, life, hello. How What's are up, you? boy? I thought she was a bill collector. <laughs> that bullshit. People playing on my phone. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta yeah. follow up, man. That's one part of the industry, though, is the follow up. Some people got a, a mean follow up game. Did you, did you, did you actually have something to say to him, or you like, man, I just wanted to see if you were gonna goddamn answer the phone. I ain't say that. I, you know, I, that was reason, but I didn't want to say that. So, <laughs> so I made some small talk, man. Yeah. I kept it moving, man. Word, word. Yeah. You know? Did y'all ever end up doing some music together? Mm -mm. Never did no music together, man. I don't like bothering folks. Like, you know, Cats will give you the number. I ain't gonna never call you. And even if you sincere with me, I don't like asking Cats for shit. Hey, man, do you understand? You done been through something. No, people, mm -hmm. that's that's the thing about it, though, man. It be standoffish like that. You yeah. think you bothering them. They won't call you because they think that they bothering you. So the work ain't mm -hmm. gonna happen, man. Mm -hmm. Somebody gotta be the bridge. Everybody tell me that all the time. Like, bro, you got so many people that fuck with you, they why don't you just you. reach they out? And, but I always just feel like, like, you don't, I don't believe know, none of this man. shit real. Cause I, well, I had like a, like just a, a bad situation one time with a nigga. I've been I ain't waiting even, for it. You ain't got to say the name. name. But I just was like, yo, I ain't never doing that no more. What like, happened? You don't even got to say, but yeah, I guarantee you that the person that that did it, that it happened with, that's probably one of them people that don't nobody like for real. <laughs> no, I bet it's a person that everybody like. No, but on the outside, but I'm saying head. in yeah. the industry, they probably get the same amount of dislike. Because mm. it's, it's, some people just assholes and everybody know who they yeah. are. Yeah, that's true. You know who the assholes are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it's, sometimes it's, in the shop, you could, when he's like, Oh, you ain't been an asshole today. Sometimes the motherfuckers are sending, sending them a love. Sometimes the motherfuckers don't even speak. But, but you know what, though? I, you know, I don't be liking to just dwell on the negative, but it's some cool motherfuckers, too. It's some cool, real it's motherfuckers. Like Erica, Erica Badu. Like, She's you know a saying? cool motherfucker. Let me tell you what she did one time. I, I'll tell this story. Uh, man, I'm... She, they was doing this tour. It was her, Common, and, um, and they needed somebody else for the tour. So the dude called me, he was like, yo, you wanna go on this tour with Erica Cobb? I'm like, hell yeah, I wanna go on this tour, right? So he's like, cool, he's sending us the contracts, all of this. So he called like a week or two later, he was like, yo, you got uh, you got some beef with Erica Badu? I'm like, nah, shit, like that's, that's, that's the homie, like, you know what I'm saying? She, she was like, well, she don't want you to go on this tour, right? I'm like, she don't want me to go on the tour. He was like, yeah, she said that, I guess y'all had some bad blood or something that happened. I was like, well, shit, I, I don't really remember that shit. I was like, but well, cool, cool, cool. You know, I keep it moving. But, you know, I know her. You dig what I'm saying? So I called her. And I'm like, yo, I'm like, uh, you know, uh, me and you are everything cool? Like, you know, because you know how sometimes a nigga a, a spread a rumor or some mm. shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I just wanted to make, she's like, nah, why, what's up, life? I was like, nah, cuz, you know, the dude said that, you know, you didn't want me to go on the tour. She say, well, hold on, wait, back up. She say, he told you that I said that 
I didn't want you to go on the tour. And she was like, life, if I didn't want you to go on the tour, I would have told you that I didn't want you to go on the tour. I wouldn't have told him. She's like, what's his name? Hold on. Caught him on the three-way. It was like, don't say nothing. It was like, yo, uh, such and such told me that you said, but I was like, this nigga on the phone, like, I never said that. <laughs> right? And you're so, like, yes, you did, bitch. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't say nothing. So hung up the phone fast, but that ain't just the cool shit. Like, so then she was like, you know, you all right? You need to go on this tour because I can put you on this tour. And I just was like, nah. And I needed to go on the tour at that time, too. But I was just like, nah, it was just cool as fuck that she would have looked out for the homie, like, just on some real nigga shit, man. So, applaud for that. <laughs> everybody gonna do that. Everybody gonna do that, bro. Like, you know? why didn't you go? What, did your pride stop you from going on tour? I don't think it was pride, but I just felt like they was going in a different route, because she even told me it, he must have took what she said the wrong way or something and lied, because she was like, she just wanted it to be kind of a more hip-hop tour. And my R&B shit was more like some soul shit. You know mm, what I'm saying? Got it, got it, got it. So I didn't want to be selfish and interfere with her vision. So I was like, nah, I'm good. You know? Mm. Damn, Jack. That was me. very selfless. That's just how shit happens, though. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's the industry type shit. The, 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 uh, the, you were, <laughs> Carlos was like that, too. Like what? Like, he don't believe a lot of this shit real out here. I seen it. You don't trust it. motherfuckers. It ain't real, man. Oh, this shit, it, man, this the, I call it the theater. This the stage. Niggas still on stage. Even when they ain't on stage, they on stage. You yeah. know? Mm. Hey, I remember um, when you did the song Freeze with LL Cool J, mm. and I'm saying to myself, God, this nigga getting his just motherfucking dude. This nigga working with LL Cool J, it was like some crossover shit to me. Yeah, that was, that, and they, they didn't promote that album right there. That was a crazy ass album by That's LL. the GOAT album, right? Uh, was it the GOAT album? I think it's off the GOAT album, yeah. Man, I Jack, you really on your shit today, man. But I'm proud uh, of you. yeah, yeah, man, you know, L, L, another cool dude, man. Super another, cool. Another cool dude. Did everything he said he was gonna do. You know, even asked me, did I want a sex scene in the video? Nigga, why? why? You, I know you did the sex scene, right? No, hell no. What's wrong with you, man? Hey, what's up, man? I didn't know you were right there, man. It's your boy, Jack Thriller, AKA uh, Luke Eyewalker, AKA The Visionary. It's going down in a major way, man. That's right, I'm finally here. 85 South, 85 South, 85 South. We're talking about my new show, New Jack Thriller City, man. I got some of all my famous friends coming through from Music Soul Child, RL, Drew Hill, Delicious. Um, it is we're down in a major way, man, and I need you to tune in. Not now, but right now to Channel 85. Make sure you subscribe to New Jack Thriller City on YouTube. New Jack Thriller City on YouTube. I'm telling you, it's gonna be crazy, entertaining from one to done. I'm even giving out relationship advice. So if you need relationship advice, man, make sure you DM me at Jack Thriller. New Jack Thriller City. New Jack Thriller City, live on Channel 85. Hey, do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Let's go. Hey man, English Major Merch, live right now. ClaytonEnglish.com, go get you some, man. We got all the HBCU-inspired colorways, man. Go get it, you know what it is. Let's go. Nah, man, I just wasn't on. You know, sometimes niggas just be being cool, and I don't be want to take advantage of a nigga coolness, man. Yeah. He ain't do no sex scene. Why you want to give me a goddamn sex scene? You <laughs> kidding? So I was like, nah, bro, I'm straight. <laughs> I, I don't remember me being a little cool. I would I would shit. I would, I would <laughs> call the nigga not tell him to let me do a sex scene. Why you get him started? I want to do a sex scene. I want to do a sex scene right now. Oh no, nah, we don't want to see that shit, bro. <laughs> um, not on this platform, Jack. Right. He said not this life. It's a family show, bro. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. Hey, I, I met uh, LL Cool J. And um, he was like, man, you cool in the motherfucker, man. I had dissed you on um on, on my last album and everything, but now that I met you, I, I just met you, I'm not gonna even put the song out. 
And well. that was him being cool with me. And I was like, no, nigga, put the song out. I want nigga, I need that shit. Diss me. What the fuck? <laughs> what was he dissing you about? I have no idea. Uh, he wouldn't let me hear none of that shit. He must have really went in on me. No but idea. I wouldn't have took it no type of way, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> no I idea. Took it. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking Jack, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, that sounds like when a nigga be lying when he use them kind of words when he say shit like, no idea. <laughs> man. It really happened. It really happened. Oh, see. Jack, you, uh, you, you stay in some rap beef, man. You a very controversial figure. <sighs> man, I really lived it, man. Mm. I really lived it. Uh, it was just recently. This has been a, uh, the, this has been the talk of the year, the Jeffrey Dahmer series. Oh, uh, there we go on yeah. Netflix. <laughs> you had put out the, com- the uh, you to let everybody know you you met Jeffrey Dahmer when you were locked up. And let me guess, you had no idea you was gonna ask me this. Huh? <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> right, right. And yeah, yeah, man, like. But I, 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 wanted, I actually wanted to call you. I didn't even know I was going to see you. Right, right. This was crazy. I mean, I mean you know, man, I, I just be, you know, I shouldn't even really be taking offense because I, I look at, like, that, that social media stuff as the mob. Mm. You can't even take what they say good or bad. You really got to just put forth your purpose and then step back and see do shit catch on no, fire. No, they ain't going to say this shit either way. Right, no matter what. So... I was really just, you know, I saw it. I, you know, I don't watch no negative shit on TV, though. I don't, I don't do that to my brain, man. Like, I don't do shit to my body. I don't do that shit to my brain, either. So, you know, my old lady just happened to be watching it. And, I, and it just flashed back to me. And I remember when I met the dude, I remember what happened. Had never even thought about it. Like, that just jogged that memory, right? And um, just mentioned it, you know what I'm saying? Because I thought, you know, my fans would get a kick out of it. And then niggas call it Cap and all this different stuff. But they couldn't have never been. To, they couldn't have never been to prison before, bro. Cause that's exactly how that shit go. You know. Mm. Somebody got to be locked up with him, right? Right. So every nigga that said they locked up with him is lying, man. Right? You know. But I don't even. You know. Now since talking to you, I don't even really think that they thought it was Cap so much as you know. Cap was wondering why did I speak on it. And that bring me to a whole nother social media thing. Like, I can say what the fuck I want to say. That's real. On my shit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's so easy for you to block my page or block me or whatever, bro. Like, I don't live my life for nobody, bro. I live my shit for me. Mm, mm. You know? And don't now what a nigga say, no nigga what he think or whatever, bro. That don't affect me. That shit, I don't, I don't fear you, nigga. Mm. Mentally, physically, socially, economically, spiritually, none of that shit, bro. Don't, nigga just don't scare me like that, mm. you know? Well, that nigga can kind of scare you a little bit just watching him walk around prison? I like- never even knew who the nigga was like that. Like, when he came in, right, like I say, they don't announce, yo, we got a mass serial killer coming through or whatever. Like, <laughs> he be eating ass and all that shit. <laughs> you know, Check, what the like, fuck? <laughs> that's what he was doing? <laughs> I don't think he, he cut up asses and all kind of but, nipples. <laughs> you know, he came in, you know, that was at a time where, you know, you know, I was in the hole. They brought him to the hole because jail is overcrowded, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't enough room in jail. Nigga, they got, nigga, they got uh, just two man cells with six people in them. They put mats on the floor, pow. Like that's how they do, bro. So when the high profile cat come in, they don't know where to place him because some niggas gonna be just looking to get a rep, trying to kill old Jeffrey. Like you dig what I'm saying? So they put him in the hole, and I just happened to be in the hole. And, you know, I was, you know, I sang. So niggas would say, sing this, sing that. I wasn't just singing You didn't for sing him. for Jeffrey, bro. He, he asked me to sing Pretty Brown Eyes, you did? And I sang it. So shit. Man, you know what that's saying. Bro! You think that's his favorite song. That was his favorite meal. Mid condition. <laughs> pretty Brown Eyes. Man, I sure would like some Pretty Brown Eyes. <laughs> Singer boy, you sing that for me. <laughs> Holy shit! Like I don't, like you know, you, I don't, I don't know what niggas do. Like y'all ain't never, you ain't never been to penitentiary, right? No, no hell no. Like, you don't ask no nigga I what, mean, you, what nah. you in there for. Right. You, you ask a nigga how much time you doing, mm. but you ain't gonna be like what you in there for. He gonna look at you like what you the feds? You trying to connect me to some other cases or mm. some shit, man? Mm. Niggas don't talk like that, bro. 
And I didn't even think nothing of it. Like, you know, he was there for a split second, and then, you know, you wake up one morning, and he gone, right. you know? Mm. But then when you find out what he did do, what you like, oh, <laughs> shit! That nigga even, could ain't me. I don't even remember. Like, that's that's how trivial this shit was to me. Yeah. He's a white boy in prison. He ain't, me knowing who he was ain't gonna take no time off my jacket. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, so I really don't give a fuck. It was probably 95% of the population I just don't give a fuck about. I didn't remember their names after I walked through the door, bro. Word, word, so word. I was, I was just there. My family wasn't there. They weren't all my goddamn <laughs> kids and shit, man. What, was you there when he had got killed? He was, was still at a whole nother joint, wasn't he? I probably was in prison when he got killed, but let me tell you this shit again, my nigga. I don't remember, because I don't <laughs> give a fuck about, like, you know. That's they shit. That's them white folks shit. Like, you dig mm. what I'm saying? They, because check this out. You kind of just get numb to shit like that in prison. Nigga, I, man, I was next to niggas that, the, one nigga cut out his white pussy and put it in the refrigerator. Ah, like, damn. Yeah. Like, so how, how I'm gonna be tripped out about a white boy who, Cut off dicks and put him in the refrigerator. Like, I don't know what he did, man. He God did. damn. So for me, like, bro, I didn't, I, bro. I'm too, I'm too busy worried about the shank fight. Niggas <laughs> is doing all of that in like, prison. Man, no, nah, they, bro. Jack, you know where they put these bro. motherfuckers at, man. Man, bro, I don't, it's, you know what? It's, 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 it's funny, dead, bro. That it's you're dead. telling me about this right now. That's just a hell of a fucking coincidence. Bro. It's a coincidence. But how, how many other serial killers you think I was in jail with and just didn't even know? That's a good question. How many city rapists and all kind of shit that you just don't know, man? That's right. a better question. Cause I don't, I, I never focused on all of that, bro. Gotcha. Like I, I focused on me. about that motherfucker. Yeah, right, yeah. right. I'm shit. I'm trying to make sure I ain't next. Shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 How you get through day to day, like count down to 11 years though, like? I didn't count down. You wouldn't like writing, checking it off, and then doing that shit. Nigga, watch TV. Right. Man. That's. You forget my partner. <laughs> you, you see, he a step no. behind, and I appreciate your patience with him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, like, so you know, again, like, you really you gotta ask yourself. Nigga, niggas was shook because I said I was in there with Jeffrey Dahmer, and niggas was talking about, oh, we should cancel life because he said he was locked up with him. Then you got them folks over at Netflix made a whole fucking mini series about the man made millions and millions They're of dollars. They're probably about to do part but two you ain't on that shit. Them. You did? They made they so much money. You know, boycott you just because you were locked up with him. Well, actually, I read one person that said that, but that was enough. Goddamn it, yeah. shit. <laughs> You know. Damn. Yeah, but this this these folks weird, bro. Like I can't invest no time into that shit. You know? Social media is a very strange place these days. It's dangerous, man. And it gets more dangerous. Look at Kanye. <sighs> Niggas don't even want to touch that. Bruh, you know? it, it makes me very sad. It did the, the whole situation, you know, what's happening to to my dog, man. Man, he's, I don't he's, got no whole bunch of sponsorships at Adidas and, and fucking Louis Vuitton or none of that shit. So I can say whatever I want to say. Niggas is dead ass wrong for celebrating the the demise of this man's financial situation. I, I agree. Well, how is that to applaud? Yeah. Like what what where where where's the, and then you ask yourself, where's the prize? Mm. For me being happy for this man, you know. Demise and where's the prize? What prize is that? Mm. Ain't no prize, man. Ain't no he fucking did that prize. shit to himself. Jack even give you a goddamn prize. That's man. how I feel. I feel like that shit is self-inflicted, and he did it to himself. He knew what the fuck he was dealing with. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I, think he knew. Yes, the fuck he, he did. He knew he was. He knew what shit. he was dealing with with that woman. He knew what he was dealing with with them people. He knew what he was dealing with with all the shit that he mad about. He knew what the fuck he was doing. So you telling he me he knew if, he couldn't go on there did, and say on. that shit about them people. Them people took their money back. The same you don't get that much money from a motherfucker and then go say fuck. You can't do that. Nah, you, nah, that's you, not how you, you play nah, you the right game. About that one. You, you right about that. You should have said fuck them before you took the money yeah. if you felt like that. Yeah. So when did. the people was like, wait a goddamn minute. But, All the money ain't go through. Man, give us our goddamn money back. Mm, shit. Yeah. Dave Chappelle. But they can do that then. That's what I'm saying. Dave He's not Chappelle the first one. That that's, that's what happened when you do that shit. Mm. Mm. But you leave that white lady out of it, though. She ain't have nothing to do with this. You crazy as a motherfucker. Right 
No, she Kim. had everything yeah. to do with. Talking about Kim, man. Yeah, that, I, I was that, happy for him on that one. That white little, that white girl got that nigga tripping, man. And this shit is theater, bro. It's this theater. Shit is, this shit is theater. I'm not about to keep tuning in to this shit. I'm, I'm off. This is where I'm getting off at. Mm. I never celebrate the downfall of a black man, but I don't have to. I don't have to agree with him either. Right, right. And I'm not right. gonna put no energy into it, good or bad. I don't give a fuck. These people got all the money in the world. This is a billionaire argument. I ain't got no. I can't get in that motherfucker. Don't nobody want to hear my broke ass opinion yeah, about yeah. what they being. Yeah. I ain't never. This, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I ain't never seen That's billionaires get into it before. That's, but let me let me somebody tell you, about to get slapped with some money. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay. But let me tell you why it concerns me. It ain't it ain't about Kanye. It's not about the Jewish community. It's not about the black community. I'm concerned with it because the idea that people can use their powers to not just kill you no more. Because you remember like back in the day, they could lynch you and it was over with and it's cool. Yeah. They still can. Hello, Chico being here again. January 6th through the 8th, 2023. We pushing this shit out. You ain't got no excuse not to know I'm coming. Improv in Tempe, Arizona. I'll be there for five shows. So get your tickets. And I ain't even gonna read this for long because this shit in January. So you got plenty of time to get your tickets. All right? So, you know, I know it's gonna be around tax time. You're gonna be getting your W-2. So think about me when you start to think about what you're gonna spend that money on. January 6th through the 8th, 2023. I will be there. Hey, what's up? It's your man Carlos Miller. Sunday, January the 15th, we will be at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino for the Miami Comedy Festival in Miami, Florida. Me, some more. Bruce Bruce, Corey Holcomb, Lavelle Crawford, DC Young Fly, Tony Rock, Ryan Davis, and Mark Curry. Make sure you grab those tickets. Fuck you. But just because he said that you see it, and it's still gonna be there, I ain't cutting my shit. That's right. January 3rd, next some niggas in the background looking, say something, nigga. What you got to say? I see you back there, dirty hoodie ass nigga. Say something. Say something. I'm on all you niggas. Any niggas say these niggas walk around the corner to see my shit. Fuck all these niggas. You see it? <laughs> nigga, fuck you, nigga. You got on a genie cap, nigga, with nothing up under it. Nigga, cash a spell. Yeah, fuck all these niggas. January 13th, 2023, nigga. It's going down. Nigga, fuck it. I'm keeping my shit off just for these niggas. Let's read the rest of it. January 14th, Chico Bean back again. MGM Center Stage in Northfield in Cleveland, Ohio. I'll be there. That's right, me and my ball spot. Fuck these niggas. Next, January 20th through the 22nd, 2023, Funny Bone in Virginia Beach. Five shows right there. You see it? All right. Next. Fuck these niggas still, they still looking at me. January 27th through the 29th, I'll be at the Improv in Ontario, California for five shows. Yeah, nigga, I got work. I ain't got no hand in front, but I got a job, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, right, they still can, but now just imagine a nigga could cut off your livelihood now because you have an opinion, right or wrong. You that's crazy now, Carlos. Yes. Come that, on, he's right. That's, that's crazy. That's dangerous, They've right? been doing that's this shit for man. Taking your money back, though? Yes. Bro, yes. I, I, I don't. I think on this level, and I hate to say it, you know, it's almost as if, you know, black people did it to themselves. Like we started this thing um, with R. Kelly, right? The Me Too movement, right? And that was the first time that really people then just came together. Do a pile to, on to, like that. To, to, to power drive a nigga. Right. Now it turned out that R. Kelly was guilty of this shit, but before he was even found guilty of this, he shit, he was already right? convicted. You see what I'm saying? And in, I was, I was just trial. telling him today. In the like, court of public opinion, right, right. Jack. So me as a yeah. black man right now, right? Yeah. I got the white folks at me. I got the police at me. Right. A lot of times, black women get so applauded by anything that they do to they a black man. They let us see a nigga discipline. And I, now I got black people trying to kill me, too. I got, it's like a nigga just be having the world against him, man, as a black man. It's like. Tell me about it. It's the weirdest shit, man. Yeah. It's yeah. the weirdest shit. I don't know how the fuck we gonna survive this, but we've been doing it this motherfucking long. We gonna figure it out. Right. Shit. A, right. They hate but to I, see a nigga. I, I, I just be fearing for my babies, man. Yeah. You know? But that's what we was talking about the last time, Carlos. What? The, about the babies, man. Growing up with these other crazy motherfuckers. How, how do we protect our children, man? How, how do we, what, what, what do we have to equip them with? The truth. 
We truth can't lie a, to them, man. It's a perspective, though. That truth, that truth is a uh, well, I'm is saying a what they you don't try to disguise what you know they're really looking at. Don't fuck their mind up like that. Because look how many adults that we know are fucked up behind some shit that they can't erase just by being manipulated. Not even nothing physical. It's just like you knowing that you're growing up in a household and things ain't normal. But as a, you know, as opposed to being told what's really going on, you were manipulated into believing that this is normal. Then you went out in the world and saw that, hey, this was fucked up. Now you ain't got nobody to talk to about it. The shit that you've seen, man, just knowing that that shit has a lasting impact. The truth can go a long way, and that's with anybody. So what's the truth? <clears throat> The real shit. Don't give your give your kids a, a perspective of what's really going on outside. Make sure that they know, because you don't want them finding out a lot of shit outside the house. Because then they get the wrong information, start thinking that the wrong shit is right, get the wrong influences, and end up in a fucked up situation that they can't come out of. Mm. It, it, and so would I be wrong to tell my kid, hey man, after you leave this house today, don't nobody give a fuck about you? No, you definitely, because that's real. You don't, that, a lot of people are realizing that. That's why these videos and shit be so shocking. And because that's the truth that was so unspoken that nobody believed that it existed. You know, you know. Just like you were talking about the lynch and shit. Look how many videos of these police officers are catching these young black kids who don't know no better, don't know what they rights are, who don't know what the fuck to do in this situation. They catching them and just doing them dirty because they don't, they know that they don't know. They know how to pick victims. They know who, are, they go to these neighborhoods where they know that the poverty level, these people can't afford to go to court or get no ticket or get no lawyer or even resist anything that they do over here. They know where they can go be lawless at. They know who can't that. afford to fight them back. Because it's not about physically fighting back. They know that the court is set up for you not to be able to even do shit if they do violate you. It's definitely strategy, you know? But, I mean, it's, it's, it's so much shit, man. It's, it's so much shit that, you know, I can say, man, bro. Like, you know, niggas giving away the game for free now. Yeah. Which is weird to me. I had a dude on the uh, podcast, he was just talking about that being a musician is the only game that you don't have to have something to get into. You could just jump in and and then just start doing it. You know, you could you could just buy a Fruity Loops beat pack or whatever, make you a beat and throw it out there. But you can't just go to your homeboy like, yeah, hey, he played for the for the New York Nets, goddammit, and he, you can't put just go, on. hey, put me on and you go get on the team or or anything like that. But you got niggas online, and, and 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 it's really, to me, it's the same shit as somebody dying, and then you want to post all the videos of yourself with this person, and, and you be trying to pass it off as his love. It's not love, it's clout. Like, you really want somebody to see, like, oh, he knew him, like, you know what I'm saying, or blah, 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 and then transfer that over to now niggas is trying to tell you the game as far as getting money and shit like that. This is what you do with your LLC. This is what you do with your corporation. And these are the different tax loops. It's like you don't got to pay nothing to get in, bro. Mm. And then those same tax loops that you trying to tell somebody to avoid or all this different, not that you shouldn't share information, but when you tell people out loud, you know, you're doing it for clout. But then you don't think these white folks gonna shut down these loops once they hear that a black man know and he's using it to become wealthy and then share it? And change the rules on us. See, the game, it's, a, it's an old school saying, but it's the fucking truth. The game was meant to be sold, not told, but it's sold at a price so that if you really wanted it, then you was willing to pay the price and that's your earning right right there. Right. You know well, what I'm saying? You okay. earn the right to earn, you know? I, I, I understand that, but then like right after it is also a saying, each one teach one. And some people can't even afford to go buy the game. Well, 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 again, it's no such thing as not being able to afford because I, I got a guy that tell me anything that I want anything that I want. All I got to do is ask for it. He don't tell me you got to go out here and strip for it and sell dope for it or do nothing else for it. He tell me anything that I want, all I got to do is ask for it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the beginning. You know what I'm saying? And each one that teach one, it don't mean that it's free. You know what I'm saying? Because if I tell my kids something, even though he got that information, it wasn't free because I had to go to it. 
You know what I'm saying? I had to go through it, so I blessed him with it. So that, that's, that's what I think they mean by each one teach one. When you go through something in your life, it is for the furtherment of your family. You did? Mm. So it's not free. But when it's free, what do you do with it when, when you get some shit for free? Yeah, you don't take care of it? Nothing, bro. Mm. You don't care nothing about it. Mm. You know? It's almost like it don't even belong to you. But that's just me, bro. You know? That's the world we live in there, though, man. Yeah. One day. One day. One day, Jack. Nah, man. Sheesh. Now, you just wrote a song. And, you know, uh, this today you released on uh, your, your Instagram about genocide. And then uh, you talked about PNB Rock. And, um, you know, what, what, what inspired this? What, what, what inspired you to, like, all right, today is the day? Yeah, I wasn't really talking about genocide, right? You know, uh... <laughs> Damn, Jack. <laughs> but, uh, I'm jogging but, uh, it. I'm jogging and, it. What? And, and I decided to release it today because I guess I was uh, uh, restless, like, you know what I'm saying? I just couldn't hold it, you know what I'm saying? Especially since, you know, this situation happened with the homie. Take you off, know, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just about like, I'm one of them niggas, man, I, I don't, I ain't gonna tell nobody about their own business because I, I sincerely believe that you don't never give advice to somebody unless they ask you for it. So I keep my mouth shut, but it's a lot of shit that I've been keeping my mouth shut and you know, and it bothered me because I want to see niggas win. I don't ever want to see nobody lose because I know loss ain't for you. You dig what I'm saying? Winning is for you. That's it. So the song is just about we, because we be out here trying to impress so many people, you know, like niggas that rob niggas. Usually if they get that money, what they going to do? Go and try and buy a gold chain to impress some broad that don't want them anyway. You know, and then the broad is going to pick the nigga that, that she liked that ain't got shit. You dig? A chick go to a nigga that got some bread and trick that nigga out of bread and then take it back to the broke one. Like she Robin Hood or some shit. You dig? Then you got chicks that fucking go get all this shit done and say, I'm doing this so I can feel better, so I can feel better about me. Come on, bro, somebody gonna see you. And you're only doing that shit because you wanna impress somebody, man. And and, and that impresses what what the one girl, somebody stole a kidney and shit. Or, yeah, that was crazy. Or you get infections through your body. Like, is that shit like Come on, bro. Like, I'm, cause one day you ain't gonna be able to get that shit no more. Mm. And you need somebody to love you for you. Right. Because one day you not gonna be you no goddamn more. <laughs> you gonna be a bag of water some goddamn well. So he better love, <laughs> he better love what's in that bag, goddamn it. <laughs> cause goddamn, you know? And the song is about that, man. It's just, they, they ain't gonna love you till you go, man. You know? I ain't gonna love you till you go, man. Damn. So when you when niggas be talking about <clears throat> give me my flowers now and all that shit, even if they give you flowers, that don't mean they love you. I done already accepted they ain't gonna love life till they gone, like till I'm gone. And when I'm gone, they're gonna be replaying my shit and doing all this. So right now, I'm having the fucking time of my life. I'm doing every goddamn thing I wanna do today. Not tomorrow, today. And That's I want really niggas damn. to do the same thing, so I write songs about it. You dig? Man, fuck them flowers. <laughs> right. I don't even like fucking flowers anyway. Any the goddamn way. I don't yeah. even fry my chicken with flour. What? This the fuck you do. <laughs> what are you so Check your head. <laughs> crazy, man. I thought it went right <clears throat> Oh, man, what's your social media so everybody who's watching can go catch up with you and um, check out these exclusive snippets and shit like that? Man, I ain't gonna even give these niggas my social media. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm, wow. I'm just being real. Like, Make him look it up. <laughs> right. If you, if you, find me if you want me. Right. right. You, you can find it, goddammit. It ain't goddamn. You can find anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you ain't looking for me, but it's at Jack Thriller. <laughs> there go right there just in case you wanted to go over there anyway. Jack, Jack they, Thriller. They know your page. Okay, cool. They see you. They know it's at Jack Thriller? They, yeah. Are you sure they know it's at Jack Thriller? I'm probably... Hey, Jay Wayne, did you know my shit was at Jack Thriller? Life, did you know my shit was at Jack Thriller? Nah. He don't follow you, Jay. He don't follow me. I bet I do follow you. I bet you don't. 
Let me see my shit. Don't right prove now. shit to him. He ain't gonna be able to see it anyway. Man, what? Come on. Check. Somebody happened right there. There's history being made right now. Let me find it real quick, boy. I gotta get home and get some sleep. I homeschool my little boy, man. Hey, that's I got that. I got that. I got that. I got that. I Teach them well and let them lead the way. Hell yeah. I said that so I can hurry up, goddamn, and then hold up. It's at Jack Thriller. J A C K T H R. Jack. Told you, you don't follow me. Let's see if it come up. At Jack T H R I L L E R. E R. Yes. Damn, do I follow you? Let me see. Nope. I'm a fucking genius. Life, I yeah. know this is your first time in the trap, but don't let it be your last, man. No, I'm Now, coming. Chad them just got my page back. I ain't have, Shut I the lost up, my page. Man. 85 South Show. Yeah. Life, Jenny. Yeah. 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 That's my love. Let's get this photo. Right. Uh, We're going to sit down, sure. Jack. Oh, shit. Hold on. Where are you in? Yeah, ho. Fuck. I believe you. Man, follow Jack, saying? man. Oh, he, he, on that, follow he be on that bullshit. Do I look better smiling or not? No, nah, just you ugly either way.